members of the diplomatic corps, friends of Rwanda, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Banyarwanda mwese nongeye kubasuhuza Mere no kuraha turi ni kimwe mu bigaragaza uko tugenda twiyubaka twongera kubaka igihugu cyacu Banyarwanda rero tagira ngo munyihanganire kuri byinshi nze gukoresha ururime rwa mahanga mwebwe dusanzwe twumvikana dusanzwe tuganira ndagira ngo nabo banyumve ndagira ngo abandi batumva ikinyarwanda banyumve batagombye gusemurirwa Today, we come to the end of a period of commemoration and celebrate the liberation of our country. I want to thank all of our guests and friends who have joined us on this special day. Rwandans today are better and stronger than we have ever been. We keep marching forward like the men and women of our defense and security forces who have just paraded before us. Three decades ago, This building was the site of refuge and rescue from the surrounding neighborhoods. Rwandans flowed here for safety, and many were saved thanks to the Rwandan Patriotic Army. An act, an act that was repeated countless times all across our country. On July the 4th, we express our thanks to those who liberated Rwanda and remember those who gave their lives. Our army and security forces are a powerful symbol of unity and safety. In opinion surveys ranking trust in the public institutions, Rwandans consistently rate our security forces among the highest. That is no accident. After the genocide, the first encounter that most Rwandans had with the new authorities was with our army. The situation in the country was still extremely tense and dangerous. Yet, our forces did everything in their power to treat all Rwandans with professionalism and humanity, setting the tone of everything that followed. 
Even today, they remain close to the community and invest in projects that matter to our development, such as infrastructure and medical services. This pact of trust, which we call Ijiango, is indeed the solid foundation upon which our country was rebuilt. It was not easy. Remaining principled and consistent is hard, very difficult. But that product of doing hard things is absolutely beautiful. By nature, Rwandan security posture has always been defensive, not offensive. We only act when trouble is brought to us. We prioritize cooperation and working together. Rwanda seeks peace for ourselves and for everyone in our region. We know the value of peace just as well as anyone else, maybe even more. Where there is a need for humanitarian action, Rwanda will not be absent. But the only real answer to any humanitarian crisis is to fix the root cause of the political problem. Humanitarian response cannot substitute for political solutions. If we had not changed the formula here in Rwanda, for sure our country would still be under a United Nations peacekeeping force divided and destitute. Liberation cannot be imposed on people by force or fear. It is unlocked by a free choice that each citizen makes in their heart. Because Rwandans, with very few exceptions, have freely made this choice, our country is at peace and will remain at peace no matter what. <clears throat> Rwanda's uniqueness. Please be seated. Thank you.
Yoko Mugona, Kamara and Raya Jemutu and Ro, Minako, Asubirai, Mukanya Gato, Military Police, Rivi Akwari. Abashinzwe kubika no gutwara amabendera mu mutwe w'ihariye ushinzwe mu ipatre myiza mu gabo z'u Rwanda. Benshi muzi nka military police. Nyakuba ha President of Republic Akara Sisi Kajia Gusoka Kayere na Brigadier General Frank Mutembe Parade Commander Sa Akara Sisi Waaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Sajjir eh
Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Over to the MC.